it is time we are gonna be finally decorating for christmas the kids wore me down they've been begging for weeks so you're gonna join me for days of relaxing cleaning and christmas decorating join us as we transform our home into the perfect christmas wonderland as we spend our first christmas in this home Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the time to hang out with me. And I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. We are excited over here. We are going to be decorating for Christmas. We did not decorate last year at all because we were in our old house. We moved in to this house on December 30th. So we didn't even pull out our Christmas stuff last year. And so this is the first year we are spending Christmas in this home. So we are excited. I hope you're excited. And I just, I'm grateful to have you guys here. I hope you're ready. We're going to be doing a lot in today's video, a lot of cleaning, a lot of relaxing cleaning, and just getting in the spirit of Christmas. So like most of my videos, I break up my cleaning over multiple days because I just can't get it all done in one day. So this is night one. I was kind of preparing my house, a clean slate for the next day when we were going to put up our tree. We are going to put up our tree as a family and then me and the girls are going well and mike too we were going to decorate the rest of the house after that the girls have been begging me so if you guys have older kids maybe this is i'm sure this is typical with kids but this is the first year that my kids have just been dying to decorate for christmas i've always been in team that team of decorating the day after Thanksgiving. Traditionally, we actually would even start decorating like when Avery was a baby or when it was just Mike and I, we would decorate on the night of, start decorating on the night of Thanksgiving and then carry over into Black Friday. But a few things have changed and kind of gotten us to change it, partly because the kids were begging this year. So I said, okay, let's do it the weekend before Thanksgiving, but also selfishly, we like using Black Friday that day to just relax. You know, you have the holiday of Thanksgiving and it's busy and you're just doing a lot. And then Saturday is a big day for us because it is the big rivalry game, Ohio State versus Michigan. We go to a party um, every year and the game starts at noon. So we're usually at the party at 1130 in the morning and we stay there all day. The kids play. There's a lot of eating and snacks and appetizers and just enjoying time with friends and so that day is jam-packed with football thursday's thanksgiving so you have this day in between that we like using as a relaxing day so i told mike okay the kids have been begging let's kind of compromise we'll decorate the week before thanksgiving that way it's all ready to go we can relax on the friday after thanksgiving and the kids will love it and it just worked out really well Thank you. 
So this is one of those areas that when I show you guys on camera, it's kind of embarrassing. I had opened up the silverware drawer earlier and I'm like, why is there so many crumbs in there? And honestly, this has always been something we've had trouble with. I don't know where these crumbs are coming from. Obviously they're falling off of the countertop into the drawer, but I just feel like we perpetually have this problem and it's gross because you open up your clean silverware drawer and you see these crumbs in there. So I don't know if it's just us, but I find this happens frequently and as I'm watching myself back when I was editing I'm like this is so embarrassing when you see these crumbs and whatever else is in this drawer with our clean silverware but I guess just sharing the real life messes that I find whether they're embarrassing or not. I'll be curious after the season is over if we liked the time of the year that we decorated it's always kind of been it's always changed for us and I think that having kids I focus more on you know the day of Thanksgiving the day after that being more just like relaxing and spending quality time with the kids you know I mean decorating you are spending quality time because it's fun but there's just a lot you're doing and so I don't know i as of right now, we haven't had, you know, Thanksgiving yet, but I think right now I really like the decorating before Thanksgiving, the weekend before, because I almost look at it as like, I think there's this divide of Thanksgiving and Christmas are, they are for sure separate holidays, but for me, they, the week of Thanksgiving kicks off the holiday season. You know, you have Thanksgiving, you have that excitement of school's off, and then you have Thanksgiving, and then you're full on Christmas mode, and then it's New Year's. And so I feel like decorating that that weekend before almost like builds up the excitement, and then it's like, bam, Thanksgiving, and then it's Christmas. So we will see. I mean, who knows what we'll do next year, but here I was cleaning out my microwave. What I did was I put a bowl of white distilled vinegar for seven minutes, and before that, I sprayed some Dawn Power Wash uh, inside of the microwave. And then I put in the bowl of white distilled vinegar, let it sit, and it kind of coat the vinegar and Dawn work together to coat the inside of the microwave so you can easily wipe it out.
Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to do before we get to decorating, I promise after this we will decorate, I wanted to clean the windows because our tree is going to go over there by the window and I wanted the windows to be nice and clean so everyone can see our Christmas tree. We have a sort of busy road that you can see farther down. You can kind of see some of the cars like flying by. So I wanted the, the windows really nice and clean and I'm using my e-cloth mop. So with this mop, you just use water. So I, I have a couple of different mop heads it velcros on and i went in with a wet one washed or wiped down the the top windows since i can't reach with the steamer and then i went in with a fresh dry e-cloth and then i kind of like buffed the wetness out from the first one if that makes sense so i went in first with a wet mop head you just use water and then with the second one it was dry and kind of buffed it out, dried all the moisture that was on the windows, and it came out sparkling clean. And this right here is exactly why we are decorating, why we made the last minute decision to decorate for Christmas this weekend. You can just see the excitement and how excited they were. So we put the Christmas tree, we had to buy a new Christmas tree because we needed a 12 foot tree, um, which ended up working out because our old tree was broken anyways. It, it leaned, um, it was kind of broken at the base. So we bought this from Costco. I had searched last year. I tried to get one after the season to get one um, like marked down or on clearance. And I just feel like that like, stores don't do that anymore because for the past couple of years, um, I've looked for trees and last year I was really searching hard for a big tree and I could never find one. So we bought this from Costco earlier this year and it's perfect because not only is it big, but you can go back and forth between the lights, the, the white lights or the yellow, white lights and the colored lights. I'm a white light girl. I think it's more calming and relaxing. Mike likes the colored lights and the girls like the colored lights, which I'm sure is pretty normal. So I think it's kind of fun that we can go back and forth and kind of switch it up to what we prefer. And then here the girls were decorating with... Um, the Christmas ornaments we have, and we have some special ornaments that we wanted to put on the tree as well. I will try to link everything that I can. I did get a lot of stuff from Home Goods, which I'm not able to link, but there is one link in the description. It says all cleaning products and tools and decorations. It's in that one link with pictures, which I think makes it really nice. So I will try my best to link everything we can. Um, but like I said, some of it is from Home Goods, which I don't have. Um, but this picture frame is from Walmart. So Walmart, I think it's My Texas House she's a um, she has a, a really big instagram account but she also has a line her own line 
at Walmart and it's really, really great. So I got that picture frame from Walmart. The reindeer is from Pottery Barn. I did splurge on those. They weren't actually too bad, but I saw them and I thought they would be perfect for that space. So Let's talk good week, bad week, high point, low point to the week. So there's two really good points to the week. So number one, I think I mentioned this in Thursday's video. I had a bonus video that went up last Thursday. Um, but Mike got a new position at work. He is still a financial analyst manager, but he got a new position. He's fully remote and it's just, it's something that will be very, very good for his resume. So that's really exciting for our family. And it's a little bit less stressful than his previous job, which is another bonus as we get into the busy season of life with three kids involved in activities. And then the other good point to the week is, oh, this bowl was from Home Goods, so no link. And then the florals, all the stems inside were from Hobby Lobby. And then the candles are from Amazon. And I'll have that linked in the description. So those are battery operated candles. Listening to this song. Other good point or good part to the week was there was kind of two this week. So like I said, Mike's new position and then I think I finished all the Christmas decorate decorating Christmas shopping for the girls. So we did a big combined gift. It is something for the home, something they can do at home, something they love doing, but it's something for all three of them. And um, I think they're all going to love it. So I was able to get all of that done and I got a really, really good deal, which I was excited about. So obviously I'm not gonna share here, but I'll share with you after Christmas, all the goodies we got for them. Not all the goodies. We just got a few bigger things for all three of them. So it just feels good to have that checked off our list because they're the biggest group that I buy for. We don't honestly have a ton of people we have to buy for. Um, we don't. So they're the biggest. And of course, they're the ones that I want Christmas day to feel the most magical and special to for or for. So it's just nice to have that checked off. And I know they're going to love what we got them.
Low point of the week is just that Avery had gotten sick. She had to leave school a little bit early, sore throat, swollen lymph, lymph nodes. She did a lot of relaxing, um, and she is better today. But the the twins kind of have a little bit of a cough, so I'm kind of waiting to see what transpires. But right now, everyone seems to be in good spirits. Avery is definitely healthier. She has her energy back, so it was just like a one afternoon thing. So it's just not fun when a sickness hits because you know it could hit all three girls. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. Thank you for being here. So it is, it's in the morning here. I have my cozy jammies on. I did not wear these to bed. I would sweat in anything with anything long sleeves, long pants. I just sweat too much these days. So um, it's been over the past couple of years. I've really started to sweat at night. So these are my pajamas, but I usually wear them up into bed or I'll wear them around the house, especially around Christmas time. Um, the girls are loving our matching pajamas, so we've been wearing those a lot lately. But anyways, so I have my comfy jammies on. It's so crazy because I sweat so much at night, but the minute I get out of bed, I'm always really, really cold. So at least cold for most of the morning. So um, it's not that cold outside. I think it's in maybe the low 50s, maybe high 40s, but it's cloudy, overcast, so I kind of have that like cozy feeling. So I just wanna tackle some cleaning while the girls are at school. I have about two and a half hours to tackle Avery's bathroom, the office, if I can get in there, um, between Mike's meetings and then some laundry. And I really wanna get the laundry put away. We have been horrible lately. We have been doing our laundry but not putting it away right away. And it's just been piling up and then people can't find certain things. Like if Avery wears a specific shirt for volleyball, um, maybe it didn't get put away. So it's just, I wanna get back on a better schedule. I just, you know, I think sometimes you stay on top of your, you stay on top of everything, you get everything done the way you want it. I prefer to do a load, fold it, put it away all in one day. We aim to do at least one load from start to finish because if we don't then it just piles up and in my head it's just easier to be like okay it's just like every single day we emptied the dishwasher and we started it's just in, ingrained in my head that every day we have to start fold and put away laundry so we've been really really out of that routine for a while so I'm determined to get back into it so I have a um, some laundry going right now I'm gonna throw it into the dryer and we're gonna get to cleaning some of these bathrooms so we're gonna do some speed cleaning. If you have some cleaning to do, join me. Put on a, just, let's see what you can get done while I'm cleaning these bathrooms and folding the laundry. We can clean together. So as we move into the holidays, the busy holiday season, a lot of fun, a lot of, you know, fun activities, a lot of family traditions, just a lot of fun. But I know what comes with the end of the year is also a lot of heaviness, especially if you're dealing with grief, if you're not feeling your best, you're not feeling yourself, if you're missing someone or going through something whether you know someone's not in your life anymore and they were last year for the holiday season it can just bring up a lot of memories and 
while there can be a lot of good and positive and exciting things happening, it can also be a lot of heaviness as well. So I just want you to know if you're experiencing any of that, hang in there. I see you. I know it's not always easy. I think especially when you see this time of the year, you know, people portrayed it as it being so magical and wonderful and great. And it, it for sure is. But I just know that there is a lot of like I said, heavy in it, heaviness for a variety of reasons during the holiday season as well. So I think there can be both. So if you're feeling some of that heaviness during this time, just hang in there. Um, prayers to you and just know that you are strong. You will get through this. Just try to find time to, you know, take time for yourself and really lean in to the people that are around you. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. So I'm sure I'll get asked, but our, my the Christmas pajamas that I'm wearing here are from Target last year. So every year we get the family matching pajamas. And oh, this is the Clorox toilet wand. Um, they're the best in my opinion. Clorox toilet wand. They come, you just like clip on the bottom. The little thing that clips on already has cleaner in it. And then you throw it away when you're done. But anyways, these are from Target last year. Kohl's, we've gotten most of our Chris family Christmas pajamas from Kohl's. Lauren Conrad, if you guys know who I'm talking about, The Hills, Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach came out when I was a freshman in college, and then The Hills, like I remember watching Laguna Beach my freshman year of college in the dorm room, and then my friends and I would watch The Hills our junior and senior year of college. We had a town townhouse. Bringing back memories. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent. Christmas pajamas, Kohl's, great options. Target, this year we got ours from Carter's. Not a place that I would expect to get family matching pajamas, but they had them. They're great quality. They're comfortable. So yeah, there's a lot of options out there and I think they've become kind of popular now. But here when I'm done with Avery's room, I'm going to go in, or bathroom, I'm going to go in and clean out the office. So with Mike's new role, he is working from home full time. He is fully remote. And so sometimes if he's not super busy, he'll go in the basement um, and work on his laptop. So he's not in here 24 seven. He actually prefers sitting on the couch if he just needs his laptop. But with what he does, sometimes he needs two screens or three screens and so um, he was in the basement and so I was going to use this time to come in and clean up. When I'm in here I'm like how does he work being surrounded by all this chaos because this is kind of like the catch-all room if there's something that needs to be returned like that stuff on the ground that was stuff that needed to be returned or if we have a birthday party coming up and I you know have a gift I just set it aside. This is kind of our catch-all room and it bothers me and I'm not even in here that much. It does not. I kept asking him. He's like, I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, okay, but I wanted to come in here and kind of clean it up a bit.
so much better. I was actually telling Mike that when I was done cleaning this, I'm like, if you stay fully remote and this job for a while, I'm kind of wondering if we should get some cabinets in this office because since he's fully remote, he has a lot of more work stuff. In his previous jobs, he would work hi a hybrid schedule, sometimes at home, sometimes in the office. So he had a lot of his stuff in the office. And so him being fully remote now, there's just a lot more stuff that he has. And so I was like, maybe we should get some, have someone come in and build some, you know, built in cabinets back there and take away my Ikea um, containers and just to have more space for his work stuff and you know the office stuff Avery's in here more doing homework sometimes or she has school books or you know I have occasionally I mean you know I have a lot of cleaning supplies and tools which are scattered throughout the house but it would just be nice to have another spot for all of those maybe I should just not buy as many but they're fun to try out anyways um I don't know something that I was kind of thinking like maybe we'll do that we'll see how his his job goes and maybe after a year we can reevaluate. Having the conversation lately, um, specifically the twins have been asking, like, why does Avery get to do this? And we don't. So that has been happening a lot lately. And Avery does have more chores, more tasks on her plate daily, but she also gets more privileges. She gets to do more. She plays with friends more. She's more social. She gets more um, time to watch movies or screen time or to do whatever she wants. She gets more, um, she does more. And I think we've had the conversations. I, I don't know, I per, we, I guess not just me, but Mike and I just believe I think it's important for all of them to know that they're all individuals. They have different chores, different things that they have to accomplish every single day. They're not always going to be equal and one may get to do something and the other one may not, but eventually it'll all work itself out. So um, we've just been having that conversation lately. Avery does put her clothes away. Twins are not quite ready. They're not ready to put their clothes away. I don't really want them putting their clothes away. Um, Avery does do it and we don't like, she doesn't do it every single day. Um, if Mike or I have the time and we're putting clothes away, we'll just do it. But we do typically have her put her clothes away, but I don't know. If you're a mom to multiple kids, I'm sure you guys have those conversations as well. Um, but yeah, why does Avery get to stay up later? It's cause she's older. Um, we've just been having those conversations a lot. And I think this is the first time because the twins are finally old enough to realize. I think they sometimes, they know that Avery's older, but they kind of look at her on the same level and she's older she gets to do more she has more responsibilities i guess that's kind of you know what it is like being an adult we get to do more than the girls um emery the same one who typically asks questions about why does avery get to do this and we can't she's always asking mike and i at bedtime why do you guys get to stay up and we have to go to bed so we've been having those conversations um about the difference and you know it's just so kind of it's just kind of funny when you think back to it like when you're a kid you don't have control over anything. I mean, someone for the most part controls when you eat, what you eat. I'm obviously generalizing here. My kids obviously get into, um, choices sometimes in what they eat or how much they eat for sure. But I just mean like in general, like your life is pretty much dictated by your parents, um, 
somewhat. I don't mean that like we're not forcing Avery to do certain activities, but you know what I'm saying? Like Avery doesn't really, none of our kids really get to make the daily decisions that they want to make. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, as a child, you don't get to control your life. And as an adult, you get to control your life, but you have a lot more responsibilities. <laughs> and it's like, man, sometimes I wish I could go back to being a kid. It would be nice, but you know, it's either one or the other. It's either like you have no control over your life and you want more freedom and you want to make those choices, but then you also don't want the responsibilities. So anyways, just kind of like randomly chatting about that, but okay, let's put the clothes away. Here I'm almost done putting all the clothes away. Yay! You know, it's it's a good thing. It's you can celebrate when you actually get the laundry put in, dried, and put away. It's just it doesn't happen very often, so it felt good to get it done and reorganize the twins dresser drawers because they're four. And to be honest with you, even with Avery, you know, I have these neat and organized drawers. Does it stay like this for very long? Not necessarily, but Avery is actually, she does a pretty good job at keeping hers as organized as she can for her age. The twins really don't. So it, I have to go in here periodically and kind of spruce it up. But after this, I'm going to probably say goodbye to you guys and just know I appreciate you and I'm just really grateful that you guys hung out with me today. So thank you. have about 10 minutes before I need to leave so that's good just glad that I got everything done and I was moving fast but I didn't feel frantic I am telling you speed cleaning is fun setting a timer is fun to see how much you get done but sometimes you just need to go at your own pace and not feel rushed and I did not feel rushed today and it just felt really really good but can we talk about like side note so in our old house in our bathroom we had a window above like Mike and I each had a sink in our bathroom and there was a window in between which was really really nice for makeup you know natural light is the best when you're doing your makeup so it was perfect for that well in this house which I love so much but it's like that, those little things so we have a window right here so it's behind me like right now I'm standing in front of the mirror getting ready and so like you can see, you have that good lighting. So if I was doing my makeup here, I'd really be able to see like, ooh, you put too much bronzer on or you need something there. But when I'm here, sometimes I get a little washed out. It doesn't look like that in the camera. But when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I get washed out and I can't tell if I was a little too heavy handed with my bronzer or makeup and i think that's the issue it's like sometimes it's like oh i look fine and you're just like putting on your makeup and then you get in the car do you guys know what i'm talking about you get in the car with that like really good front seat <laughs> car lighting and you're like oh my gosh <laughs> this looks horrible i put too much foundation on or i was too heavy-handed with my bronzer or my eyeshadow looks crazy i don't know just making this um just throwing that out there since i was gonna say goodbye to you guys I'm here in the bathroom and I typically don't do that. I thought about getting a cover for that light, but I just like the natural light coming in. And even if we had, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should get something to cover that up, but I just like it being completely open. Um, I like the natural light coming in. It's just a pain when I'm doing my makeup. Anyways, this is, I'm rambling now. I gotta get moving, I gotta get grooving. Thank you guys so much for being here, sticking around to the very end. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas clean and decorate with me. I can't believe the holidays are here. And it's even crazier that the holidays are here because that means we've been in this house for almost a year which is insane. And I was just telling Mike, it's been a really good year, but I'm kind of ready to have like a normal year. Um, last year was just filled with, you know, there's just stuff you have to get 
situated with and move into a new home. So I am excited for this holiday season. Um, I love the way the house looks, but I'm also a little excited just to like finally be settled. We've gone through all four seasons in this house. Um, our basement is done. So it just feels nice to be going into the new year and feeling settled. Now it's time to start organizing. I don't know. We'll see. That's my plan. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here, sticking around to the very end. You're amazing. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.